So the Nernst equation is another way of uh, finding out voltaic cell reductions. So we know that the delta G, which is the Gibbs free energy, is equal to the delta G initial plus RT line Q, where Q is the reaction quotient. And the way you solve this problem is that you know that R, if you want to find like, you know, the energy of the electrical potential, you would take the initial electrical potential, subtract that by RT divided by you know, number of moles times the Faraday's constant times the line of Q. Now, what you have to keep in mind is that, well, here's a more simplified version of it. Here's electrical potential, subtract that by the Faraday's constant, well, RT, which is right here, divided by, you know, NF log Q. Uh, another much more simplified version of the equation is E is equal to E uh, electrical potential, subtract RT, NF, line Q. Or, better yet, line ln of oxidized divided by the reduced. What you should know about this is that R is the gas constant, T is the temperature, F is the Faraday's constant, and Z is the ion valence. So here's an example of it occurring. Here's the spontaneous reaction where electrons are flowing from one from, from the anox, the red cat. So an electrochemical cell which is spontaneously gener regenerates. Now um, this is not that important because it's already been explained in the above equation. So let's take a look at an elect electrolytic cell. As you can see, here's an electrolytic chemical cell. The oxidation reaction here, anox, will go up here to the external load, to the cathode, which is electron poor. Same thing with over here. You'll notice that the anode is over here. It's going to go to the cathode reduction. So here's actually here's a better diagram of it. Here's the container. Now here's where the positive cathode plate is. Here's where the metal is oxidized or reduced. So metal are metals or lower oxides and now the flow of negative oxidized electrons from the cathode is going to go there's going to be a flow of negative ions. So once that happens, these ions are going to attach itself to the negative anode and once these negative anodes are attached to this metal the metals are oxidized here on this negative anode and it comes out through the flow of circuit through the external circuit and again positive cathode will come here get oxidized metals are metals of lower oxidization there's going to be a positive negative uh, negative ion flow then it goes to the metals oxidized metals and then there's going to be a flow of positive ions to the cathode plate, uh, cathode plate in the positive plate. Simple as that. It's a very similar to the galvanic, except that well, yeah, there's going to be a. There's both sides have oxidized metals, except the positive uh, cathode is going to send some anodes, some negative ions, while the negative plate anode will send some positive ions to the cathode. But at the same time, the electrons from the negative anode is going to send it through the circuit to the positive cathode.